All right, so I just wanted to make a comparison and, re and review video of the two servers that I have. One is the very popular JX 46 kilogram servo, and one uh, is from a company called CY, and it's called A1 Servo. Um, so this guy, I actually found the dealer on Facebook, and he's in China, and he um, was willing to give me a customized logo, which is what I have here, here, and here. Um, so anyway, so this popular JX servo, uh, it has a very good price. Uh, it's about like 50 bucks or 45 for the cordless version and the brushless version is only like maybe 60. Uh, but I think there are issues or um, I guess reasons why it's so cheap. So we'll open it up, uh, the gear casing and maybe we'll look at the um, base plate, the electronics as well. Um, so this servo, the reason why I bought another one, uh, while this one still functions, it's because it has this offset where the splines are. So if your servo arm is on top of the servo, it will not rub on the top of the case, which is what happened with this JX servo. You can see that there are scratches right here. All right, so it will not ha happen with this one. Um, so overall case impressions, both are very nicely thick aluminum. Um, this one has more like chamfered edges, so it looks a little bit nicer. And obviously with my custom logo, uh, I like it more. But no complaints for this one. So we'll take it apart, the top casings first, and we'll see how different they are. All right, so first impressions after taking off the screws. The JX servo only had Loctite on about three out of six screws. This one had Loctite on all four screws. Secondly, the two screws are of different, I guess, quality. You can see the JX screw on the left and A1 screw on the right. They're the same size, but the one on the right has a much bigger um, cap head, and you can see the ribs are also much clearer. It's also longer. Okay, so then we take off the case. Okay, so first thing you'll notice when you take off the top case is that with the JX, it comes off really easily. You can see that the bearing is not stuck in there. Um, that's because the tolerance for this, uh, for this hole, for the bearing, is probably not that um, tight. That's why the bearing is always uh, stuck to the spine instead of to the case. When you take this off, you actually have to push on this spine because the tolerance everywhere is really tight and you can see that the bearing will be stuck in there that's because it's a press fit and the tolerance is um, I guess really tight so you can see the design is a bit different this one is uh, containing only a bit of the gears and this one will cover most of the gears that's why they're all exposed here and not so exposed here so the top case for the JX, um, it also only has one sleeve, a uh, metal sleeve for the middle gear. And the other one, the third gear, uh, is only braced by the uh, case itself. And here you can see the middle gear is a metal sleeve and the third one for th with the pin stuck in there is actually a bearing. So this design is definitely better. Than this and I think this uh, JX they already revised it because before it used to come without any sleeves in both of the holes so now they added one out of the two okay so going into details about the gear you can see the middle gear on the JX is really thin uh, so this is the main gear that people usually strip because uh, it's not the spine or this gear because this gear is always oversized um, the main the main gear right beneath the spine so this is similar to the spur gear uh, some people keep it plastic, I, I mean manufacturers keep it plastic, even um, some high-tech $100 servers keep it plastic, but none of them are as thin as this. So when you look at this servo, you can see the middle gear is much beefier, and the other two gears are also much beefier, but anyway, this is uh, just by the looks of it, will be much more durable. So looking at the base plates, the electrics uh, of the two servos, 
you can see that this one is not really waterproof. There is no kinds of, um, wow, a piece fell off. Uh, no waterproofing, no silicone coating. And this is the only, the only uh, type of gasket that is on the servo, which is already ripped. And the screws came off really easily too. There is no Loctite. With this, um, all the screws have O-rings again. Secondly, when you open it up, I don't think you can see, but there is glue everywhere. There's also a thermal, uh, thermal coating right here. And there's also a silicone coating here. So I don't wanna take it off completely because it's also glued all the way over here. There is even more glue. So this is how a waterproof server should be like.